Well, hello there, guys. Agrippa Maxenius here. It's been a while since we've done an Ultimate General Civil War battle. We are going to be playing as Brigadier General of the Union Army here in the Battle of Chickamauga. I hope you guys are ready for some action. Let's jump right in and hope for the best, my friends. Okay, so our Union Army of the Cumberland under Major General William Rosecrans has displaced the Confederate Army of Tennessee. Basically, we got to go after Braxton Bragg, one of the most, most well, one of the extremely aggressive, I would say, uh, Confederate generals. So I sort of tripped over my words there, but this guy is tough and not a guy I really like to face. And one thing I love about the Battle of Chickamauga itself is just the massive amount of woodlands here. Um, it's a very tough battle. A lot of the fighting goes on in these woods, and obviously that provides a lot of cover for the men in the battle itself. Uh, so we really need to move through here, and we need to move through here quickly to crush the Confederate army. Uh, and as you can see, this is one of the bigger maps in Ultimate General Civil War. Just a massive, massive map. A lot of ground for our units to cover. And you better bet they're going to be tired by the end of this fight. There's no doubt about that. Here we go, boys. Don't forget, if you enjoy the Ultimate General Civil War series, guys, and you want to see more, please do make sure uh, to hit that like button down below. And um, always support the channel. So, Mitney's cavalry has been dispatched to delay the Confederates seeking across Reed's Bridge. We must hold the fords against them. Fair enough. That's going to be tough. There's only like two or three units there. And here we go. Alexander's Bridge is guarded by Wilder's Lightning Brigade that is fully armed with Spencer rifles. We must hold the rebels for about two hours, and then we may begin withdrawing down the Lafayette Road. So the Spencers reload extremely quickly, um, as you could probably imagine. Let me take a look here. It's a repeating rifle, uh, one of the few of the time period. So this rifle is able to shoot several times um, and reload very, very quickly. That's going to be helpful to us, and let's hope that it's enough to hold off the Confederate horde, my friends. Um, here we go. Got a nice little start here. And they're going to be trying to cross this bridge. And they're also going to be trying to cross this bridge. Um, I really want to move these skirmishers over here. Um, because I want to be in the woods when they start shooting. So we're actually going to move these guys forward. I'm assuming this might not be the best idea. But that's probably what we have to do now just to be safe. Here we go. So far no confederates. But they'll be showing up at any moment. Let's see if we see spot anything up here in the northeast. So far, nothing. And actually, I can have these guys run to the location. Just want to make sure they have that woods cover once the enemy shows up. And I'm assuming that the enemy is coming from this location. So let's find out. We'll fast forward just a little bit. are definitely taking their time and this could mean a merge of their forces usually if you take the first difficulty they attack you one at a time but I think they could actually be merging their forces here and we'll have to find out very soon I think that's exactly what's happening sure enough wow look at that so yeah the AI definitely increases I'm actually gonna move the Ill Ill <coughs> Illinois boys over here <coughs> let's blast these guys Look at that, guys. That is a lot of Confederates. We'll put these guys in their place. They're going to charge right across here. Let's get some good shots. Come on, lads. For the Union, boys. Shoot them down. We can get a nice volley here, too. Boom. Unbelievable, guys. So they absolutely went right for the charge there. They merged together. That is interesting. Definitely an improvement on the AI. Some nice shots going out here. We're still firing. We've got to take back Alexander's Bridge here. I'm hoping just by keeping our position, I don't really want to charge them. I'm hoping just by keeping our position and using this canister shot that we can send them reeling. Come on, boys. You can do it. Give him hell. All 
All right, they're routing. Beautiful. And there we go. A little bit of canister shot to go with their route. Just blasting them in the back. The canisters and they're still charging the 72nd Indiana Bulls. These guys are really tough. We've got to watch these rebels. These guys seem to be running away. They don't seem to be interested in fighting at all. Get them, guys. Come on. 72nd Indiana. Now, I don't like that many men, especially with a trained general behind our lines, but it doesn't look like we have much choice. But we're still going to get some shots off. Oh, 666. Bad luck. I definitely want to get closer at least and get one more volley off before I get back into my position. Here we go. All right, for now, we'll get back to our, to our position here, and it looks like Walker's division is reinforcing the Rebels. We got more Rebels incoming, guys. And it's not stopped. All right, we've got some cavalry, Minty and Klein. And I think I'm going to send these guys right here to the danger zone to assist. I, I, I kind of want to send the skirmishers, or I should say the infantry as well. But I'm assuming the, the Confederates are eventually going to attack across there, so I want to be prepared. Here we go. Come on. Let's go, boys. Fire at the first. Hector doesn't look like he's doing very well. You can see that pool of injured and dead soldiers right behind our line. It ain't going to be an easy battle. I think the cavalry can get here soon enough to make a difference. And even in a close combat situation, those sabers are pretty intimidating to any enemy. Shell shot out there. Come on, Lily. Actually, it moves Lily up a bit because his angle is a bit off. There we go. And Johnston's division, so this is why we had to stay here. And I think they're going to bypass us pretty easily. Sort of wondering whether or not we should send our cavalry back. But I think we've committed to going to the south. That's where we're headed. Bridges contested, but Hector is definitely not sticking around for any more action. Oh, maybe he is. Damn, these guys have got a fight in them. All right, yep, I see Joven. We're going to try to get over here and hit Joven. Captain Samuel Harris is wounded. That is not good news. He's just a captain, but he does matter in a battle like this. And oh my goodness, we've got Confederate cavalry incoming, guys. Let's get them. Boys. All right, just a few gunshots. It's almost like a fight between cowboys. Firing a few shots, a few of the cavalry going down there. But we know that the enemy's behind us, so we're going to need some reinforcements here. For sure. So we've already been driven off here. Let's get down to where Joven is. If we can get there in time, of course, we've got to get through these woods, and that is not going to be easy. Hold the line, lads. Hold the line. All right, Minty's going to have to handle some of these Confederates. Oh, shit. We've got some infantry, too. Let's send Klein in, guys, for a charge. I'm sending Minty in for a charge. I'm staking a lot on this charge, but that right side we can't have it falter. Back to our left, but here we go. Come on. Gotta hit G over here with everything we've got. See if we can't go ahead and save this bridge. It looks like he's routing, but I want to make sure this time. I don't want to let him get away easily. Then again, we don't have really have much of a choice. Get 
it on the line, son. Got a smash into Wilson here and at least attempt to do some damage. But man, the enemy definitely has it surrounded. I think this is probably one of the toughest fights we have had in this game. We're totally surrounded by the enemy. We're getting some good shots, but might not do much of a difference. Wilson is faltering. Look at all of those other uh, brigades that the enemy has. We'll try to bring Minty forward for a nice shot. There we go. A lot of enemy cavalry there, guys. This can't be the end of the battle because the enemy just has way too many reinforcements. On fire. What are you waiting for, you fools? Charge. That's an infantry unit with three stars. In fact, almost all of the rebel units here are very highly trained. You can tell there by the stars. Major William Jones is killed. Man, we're off to a bad start here. Got to keep doing damage here. Do not let Hobson reform. And now our artillery commander is wounded, guys. It's looking pretty rough for the Union today. All right, let's move forward with the rest of our men nice and calm. Looks like we're getting enough shots to make Macklemore run out of here, which is a good idea. Get the hell out of here, Macklemore. Relax your like music anyway, you son of a bitch. Wrong, Macklemore. Right, here we go. Now, here we can do a nice, glorious charge. I doubt it's going to work, so instead I'm going to use it against Hobson. Uh, and Biffle. We're definitely going to use the infantry unit to engage the enemy here. Same with this guy here. Try to kill as many of them as possible at the very least. Proceeding to the next day. All right, let's see what happens here, guys, because we definitely got beaten on day one there without a doubt. We managed to delay the Confederates, and they stopped advancing for the night. Reinforcements have arrived to defend Lafayette Road, which we must hold until all our forces arrive. Well, here we go, guys. We'll get started and do our best. Brannon's and Baird's divisions of Thomas Corps advancing to investigate the right flank of the Confederates. All right, enemy brigade spotted near this mill. Okay, guys, so Brandon's division is already here, I guess, from Jay's Mill. And we're going to have to bring these guys and take these Confederate strong points. Of course, that's going to be done in the next part of the battle. If you enjoyed this part, make sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, of course, if you're new to our channel. Um, I'm also going to try to leave a playlist down there for other Ultimate General Civil War videos that we have. Um, but if we want to get this, this battle finished up quickly, we've got to get some views, some likes. Honestly, YouTube is barely monetizing these videos anymore if it has battle in it, if it's got war. So really, it's all up to you guys sharing. It really helps the channel, guys. Um, please do. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll get to part two soon enough. Take care, boys, and glory to the Union.